In this lecture, you are going to learn about ng class directive in Angular. ng class is an attribute directive. That means it changes the look and behavior of the HTML element on which we use it. It does not manipulate the DOM unlike structural directive. Now, the ng class directive is used to add a CSS class dynamically to a web page element. Let's understand ng class directive with an example. So, in this web page, we have this search text box. Now, what I want is whenever a user enters something in this text box, I want to change the background color to light orange. Okay, so basically, I want to add a CSS class dynamically to this div element. Whenever a user enters something in this text box, the background color of this div should change to light orange. But if this text box is empty, in that case, the background color should be transparent. Okay, so let's see how to do that. For that, let's first go ahead and let's create a CSS class. And let's call it maybe change background. And here, let's set the background color property. And let's set it to orange. Okay, now we want to add this CSS class to this div element dynamically. Okay, and for that we can make use of ng class directive. Now we need to wrap this ng class within square brackets like this. And inside these double quotes we can use a set of curly braces and then we can specify the class name. So the class name here is change background. Then we use a colon and then we can specify a condition and if that condition returns true then this CSS class will be applied to this div element but if that condition returns false then this CSS class will not be applied to this div element so the condition here will be if the value of this search value property if it is not equal to empty string in that case, we want to apply this CSS class to this div element. But if it is equal to empty string, then we don't want to apply this CSS class to this div element. Okay, so that means if this condition will return true, this CSS class will be applied to this div element. But if this condition returns false, then this CSS class will not be applied to this div element. Alright, so with this, let's save the changes. And initially, the value of this search value property is empty string so if I go to search component class the initial value of the search value property is empty string so when we load the page for the first time the background will be transparent now as soon as we type something in this search text box the search value property will be assigned with that value in that case it will not be an empty string and since it will not be an empty string the condition will return true and the background color here will change so let's type something here. Let's type maybe iPhone. And you can see as soon as I started typing inside this search box, the background color immediately changed. Now, if I clear everything from this text box, the background color has changed back to transparent. Okay. So if I type something, the background color is changing. So here, this class is getting added dynamically to this div element based on this condition. If this condition returns true, this CSS class will be added to this div element. But if this condition returns false, then this CSS class will not be added to this div element. Okay. So using ng class, we can add a CSS class dynamically to a web page element. All right. Now let's understand this ng class with another example. So let me close this search component. And let's go to notification component and let's go to notification component.ts file. So this is the view template for this notification component. And inside this view template, we have this close button. So we have this div inside this div. We have this button. Okay. And on this button, we are handling this click event. So whenever this click event happens, we are calling this close notification method. And inside this close notification method, we are simply setting the property value of this display notification to true. And when the value of this display notification is true, this hidden property will be assigned with that value true and it will hide this div from the web page. 
So if I go to the web page and if I click on this close button, you will notice that that notification div has been hidden from the web page. Now here, what is happening is as soon as we click on this close button, it is making this div disappear from the web page. But what we want is we want to make this div fade out when we click on this cross button. So for that, from this div element, let's first remove this hidden property. So let's remove this. And here, let's use ng class. Okay. And to this, let's assign this double quotes. And inside this double quotes, we are going to write a TypeScript expression. But before that, let's first go ahead and create the class which we want to apply to this div element. Now, in order to save some time, I have already created that class. So let's copy this class and let's use it inside this styles URL. So here, let's move this styles in different lines so that it will be more readable. And after this paragraph element, let's add this new class. So this fade out class. Okay, let's use comma here. All right, so for this fade out class, we are setting the visibility to hidden. We are setting the opacity to zero. And then we are setting the transition from zero second to two second. Okay. And we want to apply this fade out class to this div and we want to apply it dynamically. So inside these double quotes, let's use these curly braces and let's use the class name. So class name is fade out and this fade out class should be applied to this div when the value of this display notification property is true. So let's assign this display notification property to this fade out class. So when the value of this display notification is true, it will, you know, it will make this div fade out from the web page. But if it is false, in that case, this div will be displayed. Okay, with this, let's save the changes. Let's go to the web page. And now when I click on this cross button, it will not disappear immediately. Instead, it will fade out. So when I click on this cross button, you will notice that it is fading out from the web page. It did not disappear immediately. Let me refresh the page. And when I click on this cross button, you will notice that this div is fading out. All right. So in this way, you can add a CSS class dynamically to a web page element using ng class directive. This is all from this lecture. Thank you for listening and have a great day.